Hi, welcome to Anna Prime Recap. A determined young goalkeeper must assemble a school team of underachievers and train them for a decisive and brutal game, and thus ensure that his club is not closed. We are in the anime, Inazuma 11, episodes 1, 2 and 3. In Japan, soccer is a sport taken very seriously, the Teikoku Academy is one of the most renowned in the whole country, and has an extremely high victory rate. Nowadays when they compete against another school, when they win, they demolish the rival school, as a warning to all who try to challenge them, who disbelief their immense power. In the Raymon Institution, Endo Mamoru is the goalkeeper and captain of the soccer team. The young man insists on calling his friends to train, but none of them are interested. As the team's goalkeeper, he dreams of participating in Frontier Soccer, a championship that brings together the strongest teams from around the world to find out which of them is the best. Despite the unwillingness of his own team, Endo goes off to practice by himself. As he leaves, Somioka, one of the club members, tells the rest of the players that he has heard rumors that the school soccer team will be closed down due to lack of participants, and everyone is astonished by the news. While walking around the school, Endo meets Kino, one of his friends, the girl says that unfortunately she couldn't get the soccer field for the team to practice on, and the young man replies that it was okay, because that way he would practice with the elementary kids on another field. The protagonist spends the afternoon practicing his defenses with the children. The little ones enjoy his company and unlike the young man's soccer team, the children take the sport very seriously and have a great synergy for soccer. At the end of the training session, one of the members of the children's team kicks the ball in the other direction, hitting two individuals who were passing by. Immediately, Endo approaches them and apologizes, then asks if they could return the ball. The protagonist receives a very offensive response, getting hit by the bullies. The two guys identify that the young man is from the Raymond Institution, the school that had the worst soccer team. One of the bullies, as a form of contempt, spits at the ball and kicks it in the direction of one of the children. At that moment, a young man passing by jumps up and kicks the ball again in the direction of the bully, hitting him on the spot. Endo approaches the young man to thank him, the protagonist was impressed with the incredible kick that the mysterious young man performed. Endo asks his name, but the young man leaves without giving any answer. Back home, the protagonist tells everything that happened in his day to a portrait of his late grandfather, who is his source of inspiration. Endo is excited to have met someone who possessed such a strong kick, he is happy and hopes that they will meet again. The next day, the young man has an incredible surprise, that same young man has been transferred to his school, his name is Shua Goenji, a student of few words and who always walks with a cold expression. The protagonist wastes no time, and right after class ends he goes to talk to his new classmate. Endo again praises his kicking ability and asks him if he would like to join the school soccer team, but Goenji replies only that he no longer plays soccer. Endo doesn't understand the reason for this, and at that very instant, a member of his club informs him that they are requesting his presence in the principal's office immediately. When he arrives at the board, the young man is informed that next week they will be participating in a training match against the Teikoku Academy, the strongest team in all of Japan, being the frontier soccer winners for 40 years in a row. Endo is happy with the news, but informs him that his team does not have enough players for a match, they are only 7 and to enter a match, they would need 11 members. At this point, Natsumi, who is the daughter of the director, tells the young man to turn around and get the remaining players in the meantime, otherwise the soccer club will be closed. After the meeting, Endo goes in search of new members for his team. He looked for students on the basketball, tennis, swimming, fencing, athletics, and even sumo teams. But he did not get any positive response. In spite of this, the young man remains hopeful about finding new participants for his club. At the end of the day, Endo meets Goenji. The main character asks again if the new student would like to join the team, but he gets a negative answer like the other time. The mysterious young man does not reveal the reason why he stopped playing soccer, and without saying many words, he leaves for home. The club's goalkeeper is not shaken by the many negative responses he has received during the day, he leaves this aside and goes on to begin his defense training, which consists in tying a tire on his back and placing another hanging from a tree. He throws the tire back and tries to grab it as it comes back toward him. The young man spends a long time training himself and after several failed grabs, he finally manages to stop the impact force of the tire. Kazemaru, a member of the athletic club, approaches Endo, and when he asks him about his strange way of training, the protagonist reveals that he only follows the instructions that his grandfather had left written down in his notebook. To anyone else, they were nothing more than a bunch of scribbles, but Endo could understand them. His grandfather was a coach on Raymond's soccer team, but eventually passed away before the birth of his grandson. Kazemaru appreciates the strength and determination Endo has for soccer, and through this, agrees to join the club. 
Not only he, but all the members of the team noticed the incredible determination that their captain had to play that match. As a result, they all end up participating in training with Endo, doing the same exercises that the young man did every day. A week passes and the day of the game has arrived. At the club, the participants welcome one more student who has agreed to join the team, his name is Mitsuno Kuisuke, but everyone could call him Max. The new member claims that he has never played soccer, but that he would get the hang of it very quickly. The team now had eight players, however, no one noticed the presence of a new member, his name is Kahano, a shady student who wanted to show his presence to other people. At that very moment, the Teikoku Academy arrives at the Raymond School, demonstrating all its power. As they take the field, Yuto Kido, the team captain, asks Endo to let them warm up a little before the game, after all, they needed to get used to the new field they will be playing on. The rival school begins their practice and all the Raymond students are amazed at the skill, speed and strength their opponents possess. Kido identifies that Endo is the captain and also the goalkeeper of the team, so he himself makes an extremely strong kick towards the young man who was off the field. The protagonist manages to withstand the impact of the ball, but as a consequence, his gloves end up getting toasted due to the incredible force of the kick. But Endo is not shaken by this, and his determination to face them has only increased. The Raymond players are distraught after Taikoku's display of power. Kabayama is the most affected, he leaves the field saying he needs to go to the bathroom. Kido approaches Endo and tells him that Raymond is still a group of 10 players, it was missing one more member to complete the team. The protagonist at this point is introduced to Megain Kakeru, who had previously been invited to join the team, but his special condition for joining the team was that he was the last to be chosen and wished to wear the number 10 shirt. Endo says it is fine to accept these demands, but his teammates find it quite arrogant of the new member. In the boardroom, Natsumi watches carefully the arrival of the rival school, the girl begins to raise a question about why the Teikoku Academy, the strongest team in Japan, wish to play against Raymond, a team so weak that it doesn't even have all the players. Time passes and Professor Fuyukai asks Endo why they haven't started the match yet, but the young man replies that Kabayama has so far not returned from the bathroom. Thus, the players of the team begin a relentless search for the fearful fugitive, they look in all the bathrooms, but find him nowhere. While the search is in full swing, the members of the Teikoku Academy begin to question why their captain wanted to play against such a weak school. The explanation is that Kido is interested in a talented new student who has just joined Raymond. But this powerful player has not yet appeared on the field. This makes all the Teikoku players anxious to find out who this talented student is. At the high school, the members of the soccer club have already walked all over the school in search of their missing classmate, but everything becomes clearer when they find a locker in the middle of the hallway that was moving by itself. Endo opens the cupboard and realizes that Kabayama has been hiding there all this time. The young man was so scared that he decided to stay inside until the game was over, but when he tried to get out, he realized that he was trapped. At this moment, Shorin, one of the team members, performs a powerful kick to the cabinet causing his colleague to finally break free. The captain tells his friend that running away won't do any good, if he chooses that path, he will keep running away from life's obstacles every time he encounters a problem, and that, it is shameful. Kabayama after hearing these words from Endo, gets motivated and returns with all his friends to the field. Now the two teams are positioned and ready to begin the game. Just then, Haruna Otanashi, a girl who is part of the school newspaper, asks Kino what to expect from Raymond in this game. The girl replies that Endo always gives his friends strength, and with him present on the field, they will always have the motivation to play hard. The captains of both teams are called to decide who will start with the ball, but Kido prefers to give the preference to Raymond. The game begins with joint passes by Raymond. Somioka has possession of the ball and quickly manages to dodge an onslaught by the Teikoku players, the young man plays alongside Kazemaru with perfect timing. Further ahead, one of the Raymond players passes the ball to Somioka, who takes advantage of the situation and unleashes a powerful shot towards the goal. With that incredible shot, everyone believes it would be the first goal, but the Teikoku goalkeeper holds without any difficulty. Kido has possession of the ball and tells all his teammates that from that moment on they will show the true and terrifying soccer of the Teikoku Academy. The captain then performs a shot from midfield, the ball travels at unbelievable speed. Everyone is impressed by Kido's powerful shot. Endo on the other hand tries to grab the ball, but the force is so great that the young man is thrown violently into the goal. In this way, Teikoku College scores its first goal against Raymond. The home players try to help Endo, after the young man has suffered a powerful impact, but he tells everyone not to be afraid and to remain calm during the game. During the first half, Raymond is attacked several times, having no chance at all to keep possession of the ball. At the end of that half, 
Teikoku High School is beating its opponent by a score of 10 to 0. At halftime, Raymond's team is completely exhausted. Meanwhile, the Teikoku players carry on without so much as a drop of sweat. Endo hears several comments from his own team, saying that there were no more chances of winning that match, but the captain does not give up and motivates his teammates not to give up, they still possessed strength and could turn the game around. Kido and the school principal, Teikoku, are still waiting for this new student to appear and faithfully believe that this will happen after the break. So the second half begins, and right away Kido orders the first move to be the death zone. Hearing this, three players run and throw the ball up, they spin in sync and apply their forces on the ball, generating a dark energy around it. Endo tries to defend it, but cannot resist the tremendous force of that kick and is quickly thrown into the goal once again. The players continue using secret techniques, one of them uses his cyclone ability, creating a strong whirlwind that sends his opponent flying high into the air. Another member of the Teikoku, uses his technique, 100 shots to the extreme. After kicking the ball several times in the air, he causes it to be thrown at an incredible speed into the goal. And so every Raymond team ends up suffering from the overwhelming force of their opponent. Within minutes, all the players on Endo's team are lying on the ground, having suffered from the many brutal attacks. The captain stands firm to protect the goal. Kido by now doesn't care if he wins or loses, but the young man wants the new student to reveal himself anyway, and to that end, the Teikoku captain and his allies start kicking the ball several times in Endo's direction. Kazemaru gets up and says that this is no longer soccer, and with that, he ends up receiving a ball so hard that it throws him into the goal, leaving the young man on the ground again. The only one standing on the field at that moment is Megane, who is trembling with fear at what the rival college has done to his teammates. Terrified, the young man leaves the field throwing his shirt on the outskirts of the school. Endo doesn't give up yet and ends up conceding another goal, bringing Taikoku's total to 20 goals so far. After this, the protagonist falls to the ground and everyone thought the game was already over. But they were quite mistaken, when they realized that Goenji was entering the field to replace the number 10 who had abandoned the game. This gets the other Raymond players excited, and even Endo says that the young man took too long to enter the field. Kido finally gets to meet the student he has been waiting for all this time. And with the new replacement, the game can proceed normally. Even with the new player on the field, his opponents waste no time and fire their super kick, death zone, again, at that same instant, Goenji runs towards the opponent's goal knowing that Endo this time would be able to defend that technique. The protagonist is enveloped by an energy that gives him more strength and ability to continue the match, he raises one of his hands upwards and with that reveals the power of a giant glove, that technique is the famous god hand. Endo finally manages to make a perfect defense, and then throws the ball in Goenji's direction. The young man, already in possession of the ball, makes his spinning movements surrounded by flaming flames, and fires his powerful shot, Hurricane of Fire. With incredible speed, the ball enters the opponent's goal and Raymond has its first goal scored by Goenji Shua. After that, the Teikoku Academy already has all the information they were looking for. And so they give up the game. As they leave the field the victory of Raymond High School is officially declared. When the entire soccer club has gathered to celebrate his victory, Goenji gives the shirt back to Endo, showing that he has no interest in continuing on the team. The protagonist with a smile on his face knows that this will not be the last time that Goenji will play by his side. After the intense game against Teikoku, the Raymond Soccer Club meets to talk about their future strategies. The participants talk all the time about the strength and ability that Goenji possessed, which makes Somioka a little angry to see his companions idolize one person so much. The young man does not agree with this and tells everyone that they should strive to be stronger than Goenji. In this exchange, Natsumi goes in person to the club, the girl informs them that they already have another training match scheduled. Meanwhile, at the Teikoku Academy, the players are training hard in their quest to be stronger and faster, Kido learns that with the rival school's victory, many other institutions are looking to challenge Raymond in soccer matches. The team captain remains calm even after his defeat, telling his teammate that he should not worry, because there is already someone undercover at Raymond to pass on this important information to him. Back at Endo High School, all the members of the club are excited about the new match. Natsumi explains that the opponent this time is Okaruto High School. She explains that if they lose this match, the club will be closed, but if they win, the team can participate in the soccer frontier. The match will take place in one week and until then all players will have plenty of time to train. In the principal's office, the teachers are frightened by the letter they received from Okaruto High School, claiming that if they didn't play against them, they would all be cursed. At soccer club training, Somioka acts differently, not respecting his teammates and only playing for himself. During practice, Hirana goes to the field to watch the players, 
The girl is now a fan of the team, but is startled to learn that the school will face Okaruto High School. The girl has gathered some information about this school and is now passing on to the team what she knows so far. The first information is that everyone who played against Okaruto had a high fever three days after the game, the second is that always when the school is about to lose the game, a sudden windstorm appears on the field and the game is cancelled. The third is that when someone goes to try to shoot towards the goal of this school, the attacker's foot stops moving. These reports leave the Rayman players terrified of what might happen during the match, but Endo reassures them that it was all just rumors. The other players question the captain if Goenji will be in the match against Okaruto High School, but Somioka gets angry and says that he is the team's attacker and that they shouldn't depend only on this new student to win the match. This way, the whole team returns to its intense training in the field, seeking to improve its skills and physical strength. Later, Endo was doing his daily training with the tires, when Kazemaru approaches his training spot and there the two have a conversation about the future of the team. Most of them were thinking that Goenji on the team would be a sign that they could win any match. The team captain also tells Kazemaru that he will no longer try to ask Goenji to join the team, they would be able to win the game against Okaruto High School if they continue to work hard in practice. The next day, Endo finds Goenji walking down the street and unwittingly follows him into a hospital. At the scene, the protagonist meets his classmate, but already makes it clear that he is not there to invite him back to the team. Endo apologizes for having followed him. The captain of the team, in his curious way, realizes that Goenji was visiting someone in the hospital. He then reveals that in that room is his sister, Yuka, who at that moment was in a coma. He tells that the girl always accompanied him to watch his games, she was always rooting for her brother, but in one of these games, the girl ended up suffering a serious accident that left her in that state until today. Goenji blames himself for his sister having had the accident, after all, if he had not entered the game, she would not have gone to see him on the field. From that day on, the young man promised himself that he would never play again until his sister woke up. Endo finally understands the reason for his colleague acting that way, the protagonist apologizes, and leaves the hospital. At the club, everyone is informed that Haruna will be the new manager of the soccer club. The girl has become so enamored with the team that she decides to get closer to it. Meanwhile, Somioka was practicing tirelessly on his kicks on the field by himself, until all the rest of the team arrives and joins in the drills. Endo talks to his teammate and Somioka says that he is jealous of Goenji, after all he was responsible for the victory and everyone idolizes him, all he wants at this moment is to be stronger than the new student. The captain encourages him and says that together they will be able to improve the new kick that he has been training for quite some time. And so the whole team begins a hard and intense training. In the distance, Goenji was watching everything, the young man is surprised by Natsumi, she says that she researched more about his and his sister's life, telling the young man that Yuka will feel proud to know that his brother was giving his best on the field. Somioka continues to develop his new kick and concentrating all his strength in one of his feet, the young man surrounds the ball with a bright energy, after which a dragon appears on his back, he hits the ball and the creature launches itself towards the goal. Endo couldn't even react to defend that kick, everyone is excited about Somoka's new technique, this was the birth of his new skill, Dragon Crash. Goenji, who was standing in the distance, walks onto the field and tells the captain that he is joining the soccer club, and so everyone is extremely excited about the newest striker officially joining the team. What to expect in this match against Okaruto High School? What secret techniques will the Raymond players still master? So, what did you think of this anime? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, like it and subscribe for more anime recaps. See you next time.